Hey everyone, I'm Austin and this is Sad Boys Anime. Today, we're talking about The Millionaire Detective Balance Unlimited. Listen, before I get into it, I know this show is really popular right now, and I really wanted to like it. Obviously, it's not finished airing, so there's still potential for it to improve, but as of right now, I don't see that happening the way I want it to. Believe me, I love the premise, I love the art, I love the character designs. The opening song is great, but I just can't get past the writing and poor animation quality. Let's get into it. First of all, a quick introduction for anyone who hasn't heard of the show or maybe doesn't know much about it. Its Japanese name is Fuguo Keiji. The original media for this anime was a four-part illustrated novel series written by Yasutaka Tsutsui, running between 1975 to 1977. In 1979, it was made into a radio drama and broadcasted on air. Six years later, in 1985, the manga that is used as a reference for the anime was created by Shun Sekiguchi. This wasn't the end yet though, as in 2005, a live action TV drama aired. This show ran for two seasons and ended in 2006. Now we jump all the way forward to 2020 and we have the new anime. For as loved as this media is, it feels like this anime is not doing it proper justice. I'm left to wonder why they brought it back in the first place, if they weren't going to do it right or at least add something new to the series. Yes, it's reworked to reference modern times, but it doesn't add much else. I don't want it to seem like I just hate this show for no reason. Like I've mentioned, there are certain aspects I actually really enjoyed. I absolutely love the character designs in this show. They're simple, yet showcase each character's personality really well. Another thing I absolutely love is the opening. I saw the opening for the first time and was super intrigued. I love the colors, the stylistic choice, and how well it's paired with the song. Let's be honest, it's a super sexy OP. It all is showcasing what the show could be and what I want it to be so badly but it just falls flat when it comes to the actual show. Why couldn't they have made the show like this? Okay, let's get a quick rundown of the plot. This show centers around two police detectives who each have a very different way of dealing with their suspects. One is a rich man who, as the title suggests, has an unlimited amount of money. The other is your average working man. They come from very different walks of life and they're brought together because of their jobs. Daisuke Kanbe, the rich one, has been tasked to watch over the district of officers that Haru Kato works in. Daisuke likes to use his money to solve any problems. Or, I mean he's supposed to, but we're gonna get into that later. Haru likes to use his wits and brute force his way through trouble. Haru does things however he wants to, rather than how people expect him to. He stands his ground defending his morals, but after an incident, he's put downstairs on what is basically the filing department. Alright, now that we have a basic understanding of the plot and who our two main characters are, let's get into what you all came here for. Why is this show bad? Just a quick warning, from here on out, I do get pretty specific with certain aspects of the show. A lot of it's out of context, but if you want a completely spoiler-free analysis, you should go ahead and watch up to episode 3 before watching this next part. As a creative writing major, one of the first things I was taught is to use narrative stake to your advantage. This is essentially to ask yourself what's important to the central conflict. Does someone stand to gain something, lose something, what will affect this happening? In this show, the stake would be the relationship between Daisuke and Haru. Are they going to keep fighting or are they going to learn to work with each other and understand each other? My biggest issue with this is the characters just don't feel flushed out enough to have their relationship be the biggest stake in the story. This is especially true on Daisuke's end. In a character driven show, you need to have fully flushed out characters in order to actually make an impact. Daisuke's character just falls flat and is downright conflicting sometimes. For a guy with supposedly unlimited money, he doesn't seem to use it as much as you would think. Why would he even bother to run this group in the basement? Why would he step foot in the dingy room? What would stop him from just making some phone calls and having a whole crew come in and give them a huge upgrade to the facility? 
I mean, come on, he brings his own bazooka and helicopter to a stakeout to gas a whole building full of people just to capture one person. There is no reason he wouldn't use his money to make his life more comfortable in every regard. All we've really seen is a nice car, a nice house, and a helicopter. Like, have y'all seen the stuff rich people do? Rich people are crazy. I mean, look at Kanye's house, or look at this thing. It's a clock stuck to the back of a regular iPhone, but it costs $100,000. If you have that much money, why would you want to work underground at a normal desk next to normal people? He has no motive for working with this group of people, and he has more than enough money to decide not to. I can understand wanting to be a detective for fun. He's shown to be completely emotionally disconnected from normal people and tosses money at them without care. He lacks compassion, and this is essentially a game to him, but he doesn't seem to enjoy it. Why would he not want to have fun with it when it makes no difference to him otherwise? There should be way more to it. They could have come up with any number of crazy new devices for him to use. Maybe in the 70s this is all he would have done? But in this modern adaptation with the technology of today, they could have done so much more than the generic overused detective tropes. It just makes any potential excitement so much more boring. We see shows with rich detectives or secret agents. Y'all, think about Batman or Kingsman. They have way cooler gadgets and are able to stay grounded in their own respective realities. It's 2020, one helicopter and one AI talking to you through an earring is just not enough to impress me anymore. It's trying to fake it, but it's just not there at all. Listen, while I was editing this, it became even more apparent. If you think this show has good animation, go watch any episode, but mute it and you'll understand. I didn't edit any of this footage to make it seem worse. It's genuinely just like this. The only movement is hair blowing in the wind, and this is not enough. This is animated by Cloverworks, which is an offshoot of a studio within A1 Pictures. They animated Promised Neverland beautifully, so what happened with this show? At first, I thought it was the pandemic, and maybe they were just understaffed because of it, but that doesn't really seem to be the case, as they have since started re-airing the show with the same level of quality. This show is directed by Tomohiko Ito. This is the same person who directed Silver Spoon and the first two seasons of Sword Art Online. For SAO, some of the fight scenes can actually be well animated, but the show is infamous for its multitude of scenes of them just sitting around and talking with no movement going on. There didn't have to be good animation for these scenes because not much was happening on screen. I think this is what happened with Millionaire Detective. Being a character-driven show, as I mentioned, they figured not much was going to be happening on screen, so they didn't divulge a major part of the budget to working on this. The issue is there's a lot of potentially dynamic scenes that just don't happen because of the lack of animation. So many of the scene transitions are stiff. There's many parts where they have really awkward transitions for just no reason. This transaction screen pops up every five minutes which was cute the first time, but after it kept happening over and over again in an episode, I was left wondering why have it at all. This amount of poor decision making paired with the extreme plot convenience makes me wonder if the writers were crunched for time. For a show like this to have bad writing when there's just so much other material out there to draw inspiration from, something is just not right. The anime industry is brutal, so I understand that this is an issue. Even so, there have been plenty of studios recently that have been able to put out excellent content under these same conditions. Because of this, I think it doesn't excuse the writing. The fact is that they didn't have to adapt this show if they weren't capable of doing it. One particular scene in the first episode that comes to mind is during the car chase. Is there just nobody in the city? It feels like a set piece. I know they blocked off the area, but they only had 10 minutes and there were no barricades or anything. There's no conceivable way that you didn't have people walking around during the day, especially while the whole event is going on. Another thing is the event that was happening. What was the point in the car show if you're just going to show the Arab Emirates guy for about 30 seconds so Daisuke could assault this man and then take his car? I mean, I get that he's rich, but why is nobody questioning his actions at all? Y'all, 
please go watch this scene. It's like actually hilariously bad. The dialogue between characters feels really forced. I don't think the voice actors were in the same room when this was recorded. The VA who voices Daisuke is brand new to voice acting and it definitely shows. It's not to say that he won't get better, but I knew it was someone with very little experience without even having to check. I don't want it to seem like I'm dragging this voice actor, alright? I really do hope he continues to get more roles and can improve his skills. I just wanted to mention another reason for why the show isn't working for me. He is the main character, and to not have an experienced VA working behind him just doesn't seem like the right choice. There are super long pauses between dialogue, and it doesn't feel like the characters are interacting with one another. On top of that, some characters just don't matter. The pink haired girl and the guy she is with in the first episode are introduced and we know nothing about them. There's no motivation for why they are stealing. So after they don't die and have the whole hugging scene, I just don't feel any emotion about it. The weirdest part is, is that they literally don't come back at all and there were no repercussions for what they did. If this was just them though, I would excuse it but even the co-workers all seem like they are just there and we don't know anything about them. It's one thing to have your main characters be the focus, it's a whole other thing to have them be the only thing in your show. A quick other thing I had an issue with is how quiet this show is. Music can be a big factor in anime, and if done right, can add to the emotions on screen. For this show, a lot of the segments are super quiet until some loud hype detective music comes in, but it's during a scene when nothing is really happening. If this music isn't playing, then the whole scene is just silent and awkward. Anytime Daisuke is about to do something with his money, this hilarious stock detective music starts to play and I just want to laugh, but it's supposed to be making me think he's super cool. The whole show gives off the impression that it wants to make you excited, but it just leaves you with a dull, emotionless feeling and it's not fun to experience. I think my number one issue with this show has to be that it's trying to be two different shows. It gives off BL vibes, and sometimes it's actually cute if you think of it like that, but then the detective parts come in and it just falls flat. This show has no idea what it wants to be, and then it doesn't deliver on either side. If they took out all the awkward plot and fixed the animation, this could be a cute anime about two people from very different walks of life becoming friends but there's just too much going on for me to actually like it as it is right now. I would love to hear everyone else's opinions on it. I do plan to keep watching in case it gets better. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post weekly every Monday, so look forward to more content. Peace.